Welcome everyone to B1 level and today we're gonna to speak about food vocabulary and present perfect continuous. What is it, the tense and everything that uh, connects to that grammar tense, um, how we can use it and where. Mm, it's gonna be a very light lesson today, so I think that you will like it, I hope. Let's start. Firstly, present perfect continuous, what is it and when we can use? For example, if we wanna to speak about some action that is uh, still doing from the past till present, we can use present perfect continuous. Or, if we speak about some uh, action in the past, some cruelties, yeah, but that had uh, that have uh, resulted in the present, we also can use that tense. Um, pay attention that here for us is very important action, uh, the um, action some process, then result. Uh, action is more important, but uh, if uh, we compare it with just continuous tense, uh, mm, Resulted is also very important. So let's maybe describe some uh, examples, some uh, uh, grammar basic, and then I hope that uh, it will be clear. So, how we can compose it? Uh, we use has have, everything depends on the subject. Surely, we use has if it's he, she, and for the rest one, we use have. Uh, then we uh, always uh, use been, like the third form of a regular verb be. And uh, the main ending in that time is ing, and we add it to the main verb of the sentence. So, if we speak about form of the tense, it uh, looks like it has or have plus been plus we with uh, ing. A verb with ing ending. For example, uh, how to say that uh, they mm, there was some process in the time, but it is uh, going still going to now. For example, that I uh, work. How to say that I work for some company, but I work it nearby six months, and that's a huge process in my life, yeah? For example, it can be in such way that I have been working for that company for six months. In Ukrainian translation, that will be Я працюю на цю компанію протягом шести місяців. Or in other variant, she has, work, has been working in that company uh, for uh, since 2019. Вона працює на цю компанію з 2019 року. So, as we can see, um, in that time we just use uh, um, the same time expressions uh, like we uh, have, used, uh, have used in present perfect, like for and since, and that is main verb. Or verb if we speak about time expressions in that time. Also, um, for us, it's very important that what are you doing? So you're working, not as a result of how much, how long you do it. Uh, what is more? Um, I will speak, for example, about that sentence. Like, uh, uh, where you were, I just, uh, I have been uh, running. Yeah, uh, and uh, the next question, the next uh, just phrase can be, for example, how long you are doing it? Uh, how long have you been doing it? Yeah, so uh, if we answer in that case that I have been running instead of, for example, I uh, was running, that means. Uh, that that process has some long 
and that process uh, has some result. Because if we use just past continuous answering to that question, uh, we just possess that that was process that that is our and um, that uh, doesn't have any impacts on our present. So, uh, how we form a regular we describe it just half a has plus b and plus b and g. How we form negative sum? Uh, everything uh, is easy. We just add not to has or have. Everything depends on subject. Plus b plus b and g. For example, she hasn't been working for that company since 2019. Or, for example, I uh, haven't been running in the morning for six months. Something like this. How we can form uh, questions? Uh, we just put a uh, help word has or have before the subject and then we put bin and then we with ing ending. Verb with ing ending. So, for example, has For example, uh, for example, uh, has she uh, been working for the company for six months, or have you uh, been running in the morning since 2019, or something like this? So let's go. Uh, what about differences? The main uh, question um, that we can ask is uh, differences between present continuous, present perfect continuous, and present uh, perfect. So, mostly, uh, something we can uh, use as a present perfect, as present perfect continuous, and that sentences will have the same, uh, totally the same meaning. For example, he has been living here since 2019 and he has lived here since 2019. So their meaning in that case is totally um, same. But uh, in other um, accidents, yeah, um, if we speak about present perfect, for us is more important some result than the process. But if we speak about um, present perfect continuous for us is more important some action that is uh, going yeah that is doing and uh, we are not so interested in result in its result so um, for example the fact that uh, our action has some result it's okay it's normal but for us is more important which action uh, we were doing, uh, we were doing, or we are doing. So uh, that is what is um, the, what is going to present perfect and present perfect continuous. How we can divide present perfect continuous and present continuous generally? So let's take that examples, and then I hope that you will understand. Firstly, we need an umbrella. It's raining. So. Uh, it is raining, yeah? Uh, that describes that now we need uh, an umbrella such as now it's, uh, it is raining, yeah? So uh, everything is at the moment. Uh, the translation of that sentence will be like this. Нам потрібна парасолька дощить. То зараз йде дощ. I will speak another way around with uh, present perfect continuous. Let's uh, take a look. The ground is wet. It has been raining. So, it has been raining some period of time in the past. And now we have 
the result of it uh, indicates that the ground is bad. Дощило якийсь період в минулому, це був процес, і на, зараз у нас вже є результат цього, земля волога. Однак зараз дощ не йде. And the next variant, for example, I want to go outside, it's been raining cats and dogs since yesterday. For example, since yeah, that means that since yesterday it uh, has been raining and it was uh, that it is that falls is so long and that's why I don't want to go out. So I think that at that examples we can understand that we speak about present continuous as the all our actions is uh, um, are in the present in uh, at the moment, yeah, and uh, uh, there is no long action from uh, past in the present. Everything just in present. Uh, I hope that 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 uh, this information is clear for you and uh, actually mostly that time um, for now yeah um, you can use probably everywhere you know, present perfect tense just present perfect uh, simple and uh, it won't be a mistake if you just uh, with scenes uh, will use just uh, perfect or simple but if we speak about English spelling British English mostly it's better to even uh, to use uh, present perfect continuous moreover if uh, you found you are fond of reading books or watching films um, that te tense is also very usable there so I think that it's really um, important and you need to know the tense and you need to know how to reply if someone asks uh, you that tense or even if you wanna to speak with someone I also need to use it and surely that um, uh, it's easier for you to understand if someone uh, will use the terms and you cannot understand what he's talking about and how I should reply. So, uh, that's all for today if we speak about grammar. And now we are going to vocabulary point. So, today we're gonna to speak about food, about restaurant menus and so on. I hope that you like it. Firstly, let's start from uh, places when you can eat and how they divide it. They are divided in English. So firstly, it's all you can eat buffet. What does it mean? The place when for the fixed price you can eat whatever you want and in which amount you want. So uh, in Ukrainian we have mostly appropriate will be Schweizky steel. So you just going uh, to some place, just place, uh, just uh, pay some fixed uh, fi fixed amount of money, and you take what tell you want and how much you want. The next one is Kate. I think that it's uh, uh, everything is clear. It's small uh, with maybe even maybe without table servers. Um, some easy food, easy snacks, also something very simple. You will speak about uh, uh, complicated of dishes of food and of, uh, actually a uh, position in menu. The next one is coffee shop. Uh, they, there is a place where um, uh, some desserts and coffee or tea is served and it's just uh, everything what they do. Daily, it's uh, some case of cafe or bar gastronomy. So um, it's mostly it's small place, but there is art cuisine, some really um, unpredictable, yeah, um, uh, uh, gastronomic 
uh, food dishes and so on. The next one is diner. It's American uh, kind of snack uh, cafe, snack bar, snack stand. Snack stand yeah. uh, you can just uh, uh, go there by car or even by food. You can eat um, on food. You can just eat there some light snacks, some uh, hot dogs, maybe fast food or something like this. Next one is drive through or drive in. I've seen busy, it's the place when you can be shopped uh, if you are with car. Uh, hot dog stand and so on, like a uh, donut stand, uh, etc. Or burger stand, it's the kinds, uh, it, uh, it's a kind of street food stands and something like this. They can be street in the parks, in the, uh, in, in the middle of some squares. So you just can just uh, go uh, for a walk and take, uh, in case of takeaway, yeah, hot dogs, burgers, something like this. And the last one is restaurant. So mostly there is, uh, surely the price is higher. It's mostly it's high odd cuisine, yeah. Uh, it's a very delicious food, very complicated if we speak about um, you know, some combinations of tastes. Uh, surely there is table servers, there is wait waiters, waitresses, and so on. And uh, mostly in restaurants, we have some uh, very unique concept, and surely there is some chefs uh, uh, that can be. Uh, that can do some uh, special menu or something like this. So let's go on. And now we speak about breakfast because uh, I don't want to speak about uh, dinner and supper or lunch um, because most of them are very uh, very popular yeah, and uh, everyone knows what we're gonna do eat at that but if we speak about breakfast uh, that is obvious maybe for everyone to have it in the morning and if you visit um, hotels or something like this if you are in vacation mostly uh, most please propose you uh, some uh, uh, breakfast that are included to the price or something like this so uh, that is based and that's why I wanted to tell about it. So, what can uh, be proposed to you at breakfast? First of all, it's a stack of pancakes. I've seen this here, uh, some links here, but uh, if we speak about British or even American or Canadian pancakes, that uh, they are no, not so uh, similar to our uh, meaning of pancakes, they are more softy, they are not so thin, uh, uh, and actually they have another kind of dough, uh, yeah, and that's why maybe American pancakes are, are more similar not to our pancakes, but more to the dish that we call olatki. It's more softy and actually totally another uh, taste. So, uh, very often, uh, pancakes can be proposed to us with jelly, maple syrup, peanut butter, or uh, actually just butter and honey. So, what is jelly? Jelly, uh, in Ukrainian, that is jam, maple syrup, klenovy syrup, butter, masla, vrškova, peanut butter, arachisova masla, Oh, honey, mud. Uh, let's go on. Uh, instead of just slice of toast, let me toast you. Can be proposed bagel, bun, roll, or graham. So uh, let let's uh, discover what is it. Bagel. Uh, it's just round ba uh, round bun without a uh, middle and that mostly someone is just cut in the middle 
and uh, put some stuff in it. Uh, by hand, it's like a crew of glue, which is just a rotation, which is just between two. You put it like a hamburger or something. So, in fact, it doesn't have any rotation. It's like a bubble, or just a bit. Bun around the salad glue. Graham, it just helps us hide the bun from a whole grains flour. Graham, це такий здоровий варіант булочки, вона може бути солодна, може бути взагалі без яркого вирішного смаку, вона робиться з цільнозернової муки, часто з відробами, і дуже часто можна зустріти. Next one is cereals or porridges. The most popular is complex granola or oatmeal. What is it? Cereals, simply stiff tea, porridge, uh, kashi. Uh, maybe it's popular it's a cruise in the stiff tea, granola, bush muesli, and refsani porridge, simply. Oatmeal. Also, um, at breakfast we have really a lot of kind of uh, preparing eggs. Can be eggs are very easy. That means that um, Eggs are fried from both sides, just regular fried eggs. Uh, eggs sunny side up. Uh, in Ukrainian, that be glazunia, scrambled eggs or omelette. That means, uh, but the difference that if we speak about omelette, it just you um, mix egg with the flour, maybe with milk or something like this and just put it on the pan yeah but if we speak about scrambled eggs you put it at the pan and the hot pan and you just um uh, going on uh, mixing it at the hot pan, uh, pan so it just like it is scramble uh, another kind of side uh, if we speak about breakfast can be a hash browns or hash brown potatoes uh, in Ukrainian, that will be the runia bostraniki, just um, potato with egg uh, that is going like pancakes, but just from potatoes. Uh, so I think that that is the most popular kind of food that you can uh, get at different hotels or cafes or restaurants uh, at breakfast. Let's go on. Let's speak about non-alcohol drinks. First of all, it's surely carbonated water, sparkling water, or club soda. Uh, that uh, all of these names are um, in Ukrainian can be translated as uh, Next one is decaf. What does it mean? It's coffee without coffee. Also very popular. Popular drink has grapefruit juice or some citrus juice. That means that that is fresh juice from grapefruit. In our case, next one is hot chocolate. Um, in Ukrainian, that can be a hot chocolate, but in some states of the USA, uh, after calling hot chocolate, just meaning is that it's hot cacao. Iced tea, everything is clear. It's uh, tea with ice, so cold tea. Lemonade. Next one is refill. What is it? Uh, actually, uh, that's not green. Uh, we can ask about refill. Uh, that means that we ask to uh, gi uh, to give us. Uh, the same drink as we have, as we had. Just повторы ты напи. Root beer. Actually, that is non-alcohol. Uh, that is not non-alcohol drink. That is based on um, different herbs, uh, stuff like this, and it's very popular and very. Really, um, 
користі. Родбір – це такий напій, який базується на корінцях різних страв. Він є не алкогольним, але буде гарно комісує, дуже смачний. Soft drinks – what is it? Soft drinks – that is mostly. It's carbonated, it's sparkling, non-alcohol and sweet drink. Like Coke, Fanta and something like this. Let's go on. Let's speak now about alcohol. What is it? I hope that red and white wine is clear. You understand what is it? If we speak about cooler, in that case we speak about some alcohol cocktail with a big amount of ice and mostly that is based on different kinds of wine. Next one is beer, pivo, bourbon whiskey, um, whiskey bourbon, but very often you can mean that bourbon whiskey is called not just the real bourbon, but also the whole amount of uh, American whiskeys. Next one is champagne. If we speak about champagne, we can call it like champagne, just uh, the sparkling wine from the province of Champagne in the France. Uh, but the rest kinds of that uh, drink we should uh, call sparkling wine. Champagne, we can call it but it's the first wine that is made in the province of Champagne. It's the other, it's just the first wine, it's the sparkling wine. If we speak about some slang, yeah, of that of sparkling wine, we can use bubbly in case of big amount of bubbles inside. Next one is cocktail. I hope that is clear. And next one is eggnog. It's very popular in the UK. Uh, alcohol cocktail that is uh, based on heavy cream, condensed milk, and eggs and whiskey. It's very tasty, actually. Next one is milk wine. Uh, I think that that is maybe uh, the most popular alcohol drink uh, if we speak about cold winter evenings. Uh, yeah, there is hot wine with um, some uh, species like um, uh, cinnamon, like citrus and something like this and honey. Uh, in Ukrainian, that is clean thing. And then uh, the last one is scotch whiskey, or just scotch. Um, everything clear that is whiskey from Scotland. Uh, in case that is uh, that country is uh, in Highlands, uh, that have very special taste and uh, smell. So let's go on. And now we're gonna to speak about kinds of meat. Firstly, that is beef, yellow chino, chicken, puratana, pork, swanina, ribeye steak. So if we speak about ribeye, that is uh, in English called a uh, fat side of steak. Uh, that is steak from Five to twelve rib, and that is really enough fat, enough softy, and very tasty. So uh, that is um, taste that is taken from the middle of the ribs, and it's just regular. Uh, it doesn't. It's enough softy, but not so fat as ribeye. Next one is spare ribs. Uh, I hope that. You understand, but in, uh, if not, in Ukrainian that is reberca. Strip, actually we can call like strip probably uh, every steak. T-bone, uh, someone called it instead of free by its fat, fat side, yeah, T-bone is thin side, so uh, that is on the other side of free by. It's enough thin, uh, it's not so softy, it probably isn't fat enough. 
and tenderloin. It's the softest and actually that is the most expensive part of beef. Um, in Ukraine, that will be Uh The next one is uh, turkey. Uh, that uh, maybe <laughs> that means it's the most popular Thanksgiving day uh, in Ukraine. That will be in Dichka. Najbardziej popularne na Dzień Podziaka. And the last one is Wail. Uh, actually, that is Telazena. Let's go on. And now we will tell about fish. So, what is cod? Cod uh, can be can, uh, translated. Actually, if you wanna just uh, you are going to go to seaside and visit the restaurant, you need uh, uh, which uh, fish uh, in in which way uh, they are caught or something like this. And generally, if you are going to some supermarket, you also need to know what you wanted to uh, to find. So, cod uh, in Ukrainian that will be triska. Eel, Wugor, uh, actually in uh, English there is some Iran that tell that you are, you are so ill, you are as ill, yeah, that means uh, that uh, you can adopt, uh, you can adopt properly to each situation and you can be very flexible in them. Uh, next one, we will speak about seafood. Uh, I just uh, I, I have chosen maybe the, na the main names that you can name, uh, but also firstly, then we start to talk about them. I think that you should to understand that crab, lobster, something like uh, like this has the same meaning in Ukrainian. Yeah, so crab and lobster, uh, the same crab and lobster in Ukrainian. Next one is octopus. Uh, in Ukrainian, that will be osmanich, crayfish, rag, mussels, midi, shellfish, molluska, it's like the general name of them, scallops, uh, rybinci, squids, kalmare, shrimps. If we speak about uh, that seafood, if they are small, like cocktail or something like this, we use the word shrimps. But if they are big, uh, like Argentinian or royal, we use the word prawns. In Ukrainian, krevetka, jak shrimp, ale jednak te maleńki, tenni, częściej są Thank you, Shemu Kajimu, for the little krevetka, and we have some solo prawns. And the last one is oysters, ostrice, uh, a very famous French delicacy. So next one is herring. Uh, in Ukrainian, that will be uh, osaladit, mackerel, skumbia, pike, shchuka, pike perch, sudak, caviar. Ikra. And you can just, for example, have your scalp, that means cut this crack. Salmon. Also, it's a boss somha. Однак, by if we speak, we want to just tell, for example, Gorbusha. Uh, we can use just, we, can, we should say it in way pink salmon. Next one is sardines. I hope that it's clear. Sardine, tuna, tunet, sturgeon, ossetrina, and trout, forel. If we speak about um, our Caucasian trout, yeah, uh, that will be river trout, and according to this, uh, there is also sea trout. Everything depends on what uh, uh, in which the fish is. The fish leaves. So let's go on. And now I want to tell 
will speak about some vegetables. So surely I understand that maybe you know some regular potato, carrot, I hope, cucumber, tomato, and stuff like this. That's why I now wanted to speak about another kind of a vegetable. So first of all, it's asparagus. Uh, in Ukrainian, that will be sparja. Next one is bean sprout. Uh, we can tell it, uh, we can name it sparjava fasolia. Uh, next one is uh, actually maybe some uh, kinds of beans. So, actually, what is beans? Uh, Bobolia, chickpeas, nut, with uh, the lentils, sochovica. Next one is bait, buryak. And uh, next one is this, uh, the kinds of cabbage, <laughs> actually, yeah, broccoli. Uh, in Ukraine, it will be the same broccoli. Brussels sprout, brusetsky kapusta, and cauliflower, um, it's a kapusta. Chad, this is the same as white zelen. Тут така гроз part of each salad. Next one is leek. Uh, look for egg. Scallion. Zelena cibule. Leek and scallion are kinds of onion. Spinach. Spinach. Sweet potato. Uh, actually, that kind of potato uh, is very widespread in the state of Latin America. Uh, they have just yuko or banana and that potato, but they probably for now they don't have so a big amount of regular potato as we can have. Uh, that um, vegetable is really sweeter than regular and have another color. Uh, it is orange inside. In Ukrainian, that can be uh, and the, na the last one is turnip. Uh, turnips. By the way, I hope that you know uh, such very famous vegetable and maybe very popular. We speak about autumn season, pumpkin. Yeah, it's a big uh, orange vegetable, and in uh, Ukrainian that will be harbus. Let's go on. Let's go to fruits and nuts and berries. So, what does it mean berries? Yakde. And they have really a big kinds of them, and they, they are probably have the same sounding, the same spelling, and something like this, and that's why let's uh, describe what is what. Blackberry, uh, alfene, abosh, chernitsa. Blueberry, lochina. Russian takosh mojo bute jak holubika. Cherry, vishnya. Cranberry, uh, juravlina. Raspberry, malina. Strawberry, polonica. Next one is grape. Uh, and next one are kinds of uh, citrus. So, grapefruit, grapefruit, orange, an uh, apricot, lemon, lemon, lime, lime, tangerine or mandarin, mandarin. Uh, but pay attention that mostly in uh, English, um, in British or American, uh, the word mandarin probably doesn't used so mostly if we, we wanted to speak about the fruit uh we use tangerine because um uh in chinese language there is some dialect as mandarin and uh that there was no some uh, difficult situations mostly everyone used tangerine so let's speak about nuts 
وغريفه حزنات فندق ابو شلشتي انا تسوي غريب بينات اراكس كاشيو كاشيو بيستاشا بيستاشكا والنات والله اسكو غريب الموند مهدل نيكست وان از مالان بينا اف بي سبيك واتمالان ذات مينز كابون page persik apricot abricots pear prusa pineapple ananas plum sliver i think that um that is the most widespread uh, at our market supermarket shops and something like this if, even if you have some uh, own country house yeah probably you can uh, have such uh, trees as plum, pear, peach, apricot, even um, something, something like this. So let's go on. Uh, let's speak about uh, ways of preparing some food. First of all, it can be baked or fried. Baked, that means that is prepared in the oven, fried. Uh, with oil at the pan or at special station. So baked, zapachana v duhovce, fried, posmajana. Boiled, vidvarana. Braised or stewed, tushkovana, ija. Broiled or roast, prohatovana na vohni. Mashed, uh, Torture. Uh, surely, very often, if we speak about mashed, we can speak about mashed potato as a kind of side dish. Zwyczaj mu każemu mashed potato, to znaczy puree, tak jak się mu każemu pochranite. But if you have some uh, another vegetable that will be mashed, yeah, surely you just put the, that name instead of potato for example mashed carrot or something like this or mashed potatoes carrot that means that um to that side is going as potato as carrot next one is pickled marinovani uh, smoked pitkopchani steamed na paru urobana stuffed na chinu na chimus glazed rozrobana and the places um there is some special shops yeah when you can buy just uh, one kind of food of, of products they have their own names so butchers there you can by some different kinds of meat, uh, some salt, sausages, maybe and stuff like this. Uh, in Ukraine, that will be Yasna Lavka. Next one is sweet or candy shop. Surely that there is some chocolates, uh, uh, some candies, uh, also biscuits, maybe, yeah, or something, uh, and stuff like this. Super new. Bakery. Mm, there is a lot of bread, kinds of bread, maybe muffins, croissants, and mostly bakeries are working just in the morning and uh, till the noon. Uh, yeah, till the noon. Uh, plus noon. Next one is daily. Uh, there, you can meet different products that uh, are made of. Uh, uh, are made from milk, uh, like uh, cheeses, or uh, even milk, butters, uh, yogurt, and something a lot of kinds of it. Next one is fishmongers. There is a place where you can buy uh, fish, different kinds of fish, seafood, and things like this. Green grocer. There is the place uh, when you can uh, buy uh, fruits and vegetables. Health food store. Actually, now, where the um, health food is very popularized, 
Uh, okay. Alright, yeah. Uh, there you can find uh, some healthy organic food, uh, or if you uh, you are dieting, please uh, at that store you can find some low calories uh, food and everything with this liquor store. So uh, there you can buy different kinds of healthy health delicatessen uh, that means uh, some department of uh, uh, pro, uh, gastronomic products like sausages, cheeses, maybe farmed from the farm or with uh, some uh, special taste, something like this. Next, uh, the last one is produce, very often uh, in supermarket and big supermarkets. Um, Produce can be uh, called the department when you can find um, valuables and fruits. So, I think that that's all about what you should know about the sports, yeah, about vocabulary. And now I would like to tell about some items that are in uh, English language and that are with some uh, uh, products or even uh, some dish. Let's go. Now somebody's cup of tea. That means that that is no your sphere of uh, um, interest or that is no your business. To take tea with somebody. That means that you have uh, some business uh, with someone or uh, that you have some deals with they, uh, he or she and in that cases you can use that idea. Next one is husband's tea. What does it mean? That means very light and soft tea that is no... Uh, that, that is probably like um, hot water with uh, uh, one spoon of tea. Rip the tea leaves. Uh, that means to do a random or to guess about something just without any evidences and stuff like this. Next one is big cheese. That means um, that means very important. A uh, person with uh, a big uh, amount of power, yeah, who have a lot of impacts at others. To bring home the bacon. Uh, can be used instead of earn money. A piece of cake. Um, that means something very simple, very easy. Yeah, like uh, uh, two plus two. To be cool as a cucumber uh, means to stay very cold-minded and very calm. In um, Ukrainian, we have very uh, similar idea. That is uh, that can be translated as uh, that is to be as cool as cucumber. Next one is to be full of beans, and that means to be full of energy. Uh, have some maybe sure that you can do probably everything, something like this. Uh, to buy a lemon means to buy something that you don't need at all. And Chew the fat. Uh, it very. Uh, it's not actually. It's not very good action. That means to gossip about someone, but it very bad, bad way. In Ukrainian, you can call it paramovati kisnichke. So let's go on. Like two peas in a pot. Um, means to be uh, like uh, two parts are very appropriate to each other. Um, in Ukrainian we can call it um, Next one is to eat a humble pie. That means uh, to humble with something uh, that you, it's not appropriate for you or to accept some bad conditional and that is exactly to eat humble pie. Next one is carrot and stick. Uh, in Ukrainian, we have Knut Sapriane. I took a cry of a split milk. 
uh, means to be disappointed about really important things. So, for peanuts, uh, can be used instead of very, very cheap, uh, extremely cheap. Go bananas. In spite of so uh, <laughs> good uh, sounding, that means uh, to be crazy about something, to get mad about something, something like this. Mail ticket. That means to in, um, find or to have or to get some source of good income. Hot potato. Uh, some situation, some strange situations, and uh, difficult or difficult situations. So, for example, I'm in hot, uh, I'm as hot potato means that I'm in very difficult for me situations. The same, probably the same meaning, is be in the soup, and that means that uh, to be in a situation uh, when you don't know what you should to do and how you should do it. No. Polish the apple means uh, trying to get someone's uh, patronage. So, when you can be re, uh, when you sh try to sing very good, that, such as you want to give from someone, it's patronage, it's help in future. Next one, and the last one actually now, is to walk an X. And uh, that means to risk highly and uh, or some, sometimes you can even use it uh, if you wanted to say that you risk all that you have. Like all in, yeah, I, I'm working on X. So that means that I'm extremely risking now. So that's all for today. And I hope that uh, you can use and I'm surely that uh, sure that you can use that items in your everyday speaking and surely you should try to speak you should practice a lot such as it's impossible if you really know wanna to know English well it's impossible just know new words and don't use them unfortunately you don't have uh, you won't have a good result I'm totally sure in it so I hope that you like it and see you soon uh, bye bye.